Welcome to No Man's Nature Documentary, where we try to discover and destroy all life in the universe. Today, we'll be looking at five of the most interesting fauna that we have discovered so far. To start our list, we're looking at the Quaquidosa, a skittish, tiny little desert animal, also known as the Desert Two-Tail. The Quaquidosa, despite growing up to a maximum of 0.9 of a meter, can reach weights of almost 100 kilograms thanks to its dense carbon-based skeleton. In order to avoid the scorching heat of the sun, the Quaquidosa has evolved to be more active at night. Sadly, Quaquidosa populations have seen a decline in recent years due to poaching activity. Poachers target these skittish little creatures for their horns, which are sold on some planets as aphrodisiacs. Sadly, recent conservation efforts have been unable to save this animal from the brink of extinction. However, we here at No Man's Nature Documentary believe that if there is nothing left to poach, poachers will stop their poaching. The Scatter Blaster is by far the most efficient tool of conservationism. Second on our list is the Strix McKay, a fish that looks like it's been left in a small aquarium for too long. Seen from the front, the Strix McKay's face says that it cannot believe that you've just stepped in its pudding. Viewed from the side, however, the Strix McKay's face says that it is absolutely livid that you have just stepped in its pudding. Its elongated fins are just as useless as the fish itself. Truly, this is an animal that should have never existed. In order to see our next animal, we had to travel to a planet where it perpetually rains. The Syngiopium is a giant mammal that lives solely off pollen. Using its long neck, it spends its entire day collecting food from the giant flower-like plants. The Syngiopium has no known natural enemies though it has been known to aggressively trample smaller animals beneath its giant feet. This is the expression it makes when it's looking for something to scrape them off with. In order to conservate an animal of this size, we will need something bigger than a scatter blaster. A geology cannon should do the trick. The fourth animal on our list is a mushroom-headed variant or subspecies of the Syngiopium. This subspecies has developed a taste for the giant mushrooms of this planet and has evolved a mushroom-like structure on its head to better blend in with its surroundings. As a bonus, it also serves as shelter from the perpetual rain. Sadly, mushroom-headed Syngiopium populations are declining due to accidental cannibalism. Due to their head's close resemblance of their primary source of food, these creatures often find themselves munching on the heads of their own species. Luckily, we are here to save them from themselves.
In order to catch a glimpse of the last animal on our list, we must travel deep underwater. The beaked sea otter is a, an aquatic mammal that will spend almost its entire life in the water. Using its powerful beak, the sea otter pries open muscles to get at the soft flesh within. Unfortunately, its beak is also the main ingredient in beak soup, a delicacy on some planets, and has made it the prime target of poachers. In order to save the beaked sea otter species from becoming a bowl of beak soup, we at No Man's Nature Documentary have decided to step in and intervene. Thank you for joining us on this episode of No Man's Nature Documentary. To help us spread awareness of our conservation efforts, you can like this video. If you would like to support us on our mission of discovering and destroying all life in the universe, you can subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time.